Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a really simple strawberry tart. It's a no-bake tart. There's no pastry, anything involved. It's super simple. It can be really made, you know, 10 minutes work and then it goes into the fridge just for the base to set and then a further 10 minutes. Done. That's it. Guys, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share with your friends. Today I have a helper here in the kitchen. Say hello, Charlie. Hi. <laughs> so without further ado, we'll get underway. So for the base, we need 300 grams of digestive biscuits. Perfect. So you can, of course, do this in a food processor if you like. I just find this way quite fun. And that is to give them a good bashing to break them into crumbs. Do you want to go? Go on, you know you want to. Just beat them. Right. Flip them over, make sure this side's all broke up as well. And what you can do as well, you can pretend like it's pastry and roll over them like that. <laughs> Go. Once our biscuits are broke up, all we need then is a loose bottomed fluted pie dish. So, I think that will do. You hold the bag open again. We have 125 grams of melted butter here. Just gonna pour that into the bag. Pick that up again. And you can give it a good squelch about. Go. Help me mix it now, we want to make sure all the crumbs are coated in the butter because that's what makes it stay all together. It's kind of like being at the beach, isn't it? Like sandcastles. <laughs> you can pour them into the tin, right? Got it? There we go, just dump it all in. That's it, we can get rid of this. Now this fun part, it's really like sand castles now, right? So what we need to do is just press it down and push it up the sides. You can help me. Your, probably, your hands would probably be better because you have smaller hands, it'll be easier to do this. And that guys is our base done. This just needs to go into the fridge to firm up. 30 minutes is absolutely fine, and me and Charlie, I think we'll have a quick hand wash. <laughs> so we'll wash our hands now. So while the base is firming up in the fridge, we're going to get on with the filling, aren't we? So we're going to need some of this, some of this cream cheese. And that is 200 grams. It's best to be at room temperature because it just helps it mix with the other ingredients really easily. Okay, do you want to put in the cream? So it's 125 mils of double cream now going in. And then we want 200 grams of lemon curd. This is really makes this very simple. It means you don't need to add any sugar or anything else. I know 200 grams is about half a jar. So do you want to mix that together? We'll have a taste, will we? See, you tell me if you think it needs any more lemon. Do you think a little bit more? Just a little bit? So, it's hard to say exactly how much you'll need because it all depends on how zingy your lemon curd is. But since we're going to use some citrus juice later on, I'm going to add a little of the zest in here. Go oh, smell that, doesn't it smell really good? Do you want to squeeze some lemon in? Squeeze it, use your two hands if you like. So just throw the lemon in there and then you can mix that together again and we'll have another taste and see if we think it's lemony enough. Right, 
That's it. So have a taste now and see what you think. Mm, that's nicer, isn't it? So that really make the strawberries just sing. So we're ready to put it on our base. Ribbon. Don't lick it. <laughs> so we have a lot of strawberries here. Uh, these are going to be for our topping, aren't they? So what we'll do, how much do you like strawberries? They're your favorite, aren't they? Will we have one, just to check that they're okay. Yeah, half each. They're good strawberries, aren't they? So I'm just gonna hull the strawberries and cut them in half. So I'll put them in here and then I'll let you decorate them. You can put them on the top of the tart, anywhere you like. Maybe make a design with them, yeah? So it's all up to you, all the artwork yours. <laughs> so once they're cut, you can go ahead. Going. It's your tart, you put them wherever you want. Here we are, do you think that's enough? Yeah? So, how are you painting? Any good? Good, that's good. Because next what we have here is just some apricot jam. That, this is what we use the other half of the lemon for. We just use a bit of the juice just to make it more spreadable. And Ronnie, this is still slightly warm. And all you have to do now, okay, is just brush all the strawberries, right? So you paint the strawberries. <laughs> That's it. This will make them super shiny like you see in those patisserie windows, those strawberry tarts. Keep dipping, make sure to put plenty on. Want them all nice and shiny, don't we? <laughs> Will I get a brush and help? Hangs up if both of us are painting. <laughs> and I think we are all almost done. What do you think? Do you see any spots that are missing? Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this recipe and give it a go. And please leave us a comment down below. And I think we are going to enjoy the rest of our strawberries, the leftover ones. And thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>